Let's jump in to keep it open or close it out. Our version of start sit here at the happy hour bar. Jameis Winston tops the list here. This is Jameis over his last three starts right here, guys. And listen, this is a big week because it's a short week for the Browns against a division rival in the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got to hear from Jameis on just what that game now means to him with the Browns. Ever since I became a Brown, I've learned that I don't become a Brown until we beat the Steelers. So we have to turn this thing around quick. Uh, that's a great team in Pittsburgh. I, I, I have so much respect for Coach Mike Tomlin and what they're doing year in and year out. So we have to be prepared uh, and we just got to show up. There you go. You don't become a Brown until you beat the Steelers. Are all the members of the Browns hoping to beat the Steelers? Or if you're just like, hey, if we lose the Steelers, then I'm not officially a Brown and I can continue my career I elsewhere. Go, I, that's, I can get out. It's good thinking. I'm just saying. Get your head on that one. I know Jameis like being a Brown, so I think for he wanna, sure. I think he want to pull off the upset here. Yeah, well, he's the best quarterback at the Browns. He's their best quarterback. He uh, other places that he's been, he hasn't always been the first oh. option. That line's only three and a half points. Short week, anything could happen. Any, anything can happen as well. With Jameis, it's the full Jameis experience, you right? Never, no. Like any. There is literally nothing that can happen on Thursday night where I'll be like, well, that came out of nowhere. Jameis could throw for 500 yards, five touchdowns, and be like, okay, yeah, Jameis. Jameis had one of those days. Jameis could also, Jameis could also throw for 60 yards and have five interceptions. And I'll be like, yep, that's Jameis. Like, Not with 60 yards? I think <laughs> yeah, with he the, still gets 300. I, 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 I think with the, the four or five interceptions, he's going to give you 300 yeah, yards. I mean, who knows? But I, the five interceptions. I just, my yeah. point is, is that, an extremely wide range of outcomes, Lawrence, for Jameis Winston, who last week was nothing short of spectacular. He was on the love yeah. list last week. He was somebody that I did my shot for shot where I said uh, on fantasy football pregame, I said 300 yards and two touchdowns for Jameis Winston as a return to New Orleans. He comes up almost 400 yards. He does throw the two touchdowns as well. Uh, things were looking good for, uh, for Elijah Moore, for, uh, for David Njoku, for Jerry Judy, everyone but Club said, but yeah. hopefully Club said gets open this Thursday night. Having said all that, and we are a pro Jameis table table here at the happy hour. I'm closing it out on Jameis Winston. Look, he's merely my quarterback 18 this week, Connor. There's a lot of concerns here. Steelers have allowed 11.5 fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks this season. That's second fewest. Like we've seen them like they shut down Lamar Jackson. They shut down Jaden Daniels, yes. like, big they, name like they, the big name quarterbacks that have had a ton of success going into Pittsburgh. And then all of a sudden, uh, didn't happen for him as well. The game is in Cleveland. That's one positive here, but not any quarterback, literally no quarterback this year has gotten to 17 fantasy points against the Steelers. Only two have scored even 15 fantasy points against Pittsburgh. They've allowed multiple touchdown passes in only two games this entire season as well. He's my quarterback 18 Lawrence in a game in which Cleveland has the second lowest implied team total on the week 12 slate. Second implied team total. The total second for lowest, the, yeah. the, the game total for this game is 36 and a half and that game is supposed to have some weather in it too. So yeah. that just makes it iffy for even both sides of the past game to be honest. Uh, you talked about them the Steelers uh, shutting down Lamar and Jaden Downs to this extent too. Lamar Jackson was quarterback 23 in week 11. His worst finish of the week so far had been quarterback 12 with a bunch of quarterback eight finishes in there. Yeah. Jaden Daniels, QB 24. These are two top seven fantasy quarterbacks we're talking about. So if they're doing that to them, I have a hard time trotting out there at Jameis Winston, who, like you said, played good last week. But he doesn't have the rushing upside. We talked about the low game total. I'm gonna close it. Uh, I'm gonna close it this week as well. Maybe the week after that we'll come back to you. But not this week, Jameis. Not this week. Dog. Him bucking this trend of great, you know, obviously Lamar, Jaden having yeah. bad finishes. Like this would be all time, Jameis. Maybe. Bad weather, right. short week. Yeah. A team, You're right. Yeah. The team is. The season's over. I know they're playing hard. I don't want to go yeah, against yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Giving a shot. The season's but over. Th th it's not mathematically. There yet. Funny it's not enough, the though. Here. Funny enough, though. I think they could win the game. I agree. I mean, I agree. three and a half lines for a reason. Oh, this is yeah. this is a trap game for the Steelers. If you're 100%. looking at this from Pittsburgh's point of view, right. like hey, we we took care of this. We took care of the Ravens. We took care of the Commanders. That was a big hyped game. Like they've. This is a trap game. Still a tough place to play. Like the Browns fans show up even when that team doesn't win yeah. any games. Oh, for sure. And if, if there's yeah. if there's wind and that 
that stadium's always tough to play on. You've got a short week. Will, Russell Wilson has gotten lucky. Like, he's made a couple of great plays, sure. but he's also there's also been some luck involved. And every once in a while, like, the bounces have all gone Pittsburgh's they, way they the last couple of weeks. They didn't score a touchdown yeah. against the Ravens. They didn't score an offensive touchdown against the Ravens' defense. Right. And, by the way, and to that point, like, everyone says, oh, the Steelers, they beat the Ravens. They beat the Ravens. Okay, great. 100% great win. But they beat the Ravens in a game in which Justin Tucker missed two field goals. Thank you. <laughs> and the Ravens didn't get a two-point conversion. The Ravens get that two-point conversion at the end of the game. It's 18-18, and who knows what happens. Like, right. you're going to overtime. Like, so, I mean, like, the Steelers won. Credit to them. A win is a win is a win. Definitely. But, like, by the skin of their tinny, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, skin is skin tinny. Derrick you know, Henry you know? fumble for the first they time in 500 they carries. Had, Derrick Henry two fumble. Fumbles. Credit to them. Two, right. Two, two Tucker they field goals. the goal interception misses. that Justice Hill, like, Caught and then got yeah. it. So it was. It's a weird game. It's very it was, that's weird. Is, that is how the Ravens lose every game. Yep. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So anyway, long way of saying I agree with you. I think this is a trap Browns game for the Steelers. Yeah, and Browns absolutely have a shot. Right. Looking forward to seeing that. Thirteen ten kind of finish. In, probably, incoming. Yeah, take Al, the under. Al Michaels furious yeah, on the broadcast. Furious, yeah. <laughs> Al Michael. Oh, it's another game. Yeah, uh, I just. I can't yeah. wait. I'm. I'm locked in. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.